Hi, welcome to Arlington's Community Update. Today I'm here at Arlington Boys and Girls Club with Jennifer, Kevin, and Derek. Why don't you guys all introduce yourselves first? Uh, my name is Derek Curran. I'm the Executive Director of the Arlington Boys and Girls Club. I'm Jennifer Goodwin, and I am the Community Relations Coordinator. And I'm Kevin Flood, the Assistant Director. All right, it's great to meet you all. Derek, why don't you start off by telling us what the Boys and Girls Club is all about and how are you guys um, contributing to the community? Um, well, well, the mission of the Arlington Boys and Girls Club is to inspire and enable all children, especially those of challenging circumstances, to realize you know, their full potential. What that means, I think, is to provide opportunities for our kids um, whether it's um, just becoming a member and being able to come here after school and meet friends. Um, it's a place for um, parents can drop off their kids and we're providing a fun, safe place for their kids to go after school or really during any non-school hours, um, you know, to help out the, the working parents. Um, you know, we're also here to provide support to families in need. We um, help with Back to school supply drives. Going back to school is a very stressful time for parents. Uh, to be able, being able to provide backpacks and school supplies, um, you know, is a huge help. Um, during the holiday season, we also provide help at Thanksgiving for families in, in need or just having a tough time. Um, you know, we also help out families during Christmas. Um, so we're really there to provide support for any families in and around Arlington. Um, and that's that's truly what we do here. All right, excellent. So you guys are really giving back to Arlington, and I'm sure the whole community really appreciates this organization. Now, Jennifer, I'm going to have you talk to us a little bit about what sort of events you've had going on lately, what you've done recently, what you have coming up. Um, what do you have to say about that? Well, we're really excited about a lot of the fun things that we do here at the club. Uh, just this week, Friday night, we have one of our biggest events, which is called the Fall Family Festival. And we have about 200 to 300 families who come, um, lots of children, and we do a pumpkin, a pumpkin decorating station. We have a moon bounce. We offer food for a nominal fee so families can come and have supper while their, um, their kids are playing. Uh, we have a balloon juggler, so really it's a nice fall event. Um, we're hoping that um, the weather holds. Not sure about that, but uh, what, rain or shine, it'll be a great night. Uh, then after that, we have a neon dance party for our sixth graders, which is new this year. Um, that'll be here at the club um, October 18th. After that, we have, a, uh, we have a wonderful affiliation with the Arlington Family Connection, and we do some events with them. We have a Halloween party um, towards the end of October that we'll be um, announcing the dates, uh, and that'll be for the real young um, under five set. Coming up in March, oh no, after that we actually have in November, we have our birthday week. So we have lots of fun activities for our members, our club member kids to do every day of the week. There's something special and different and we incorporate the families with, um, with the members as well. So the families can come in and the members can bring a friend, which is a really ne neat way for friends to uh, experience the club and to hopefully decide to become a member as well. Um, we have a party in March um, for kids, a, a beach ball party, and then we have a fun kid day in the summer for all of our summer campers. We do moon bounces and ice cream and um, lots of different games in the field. Um, we're so lucky to be able to be on the pond in this facility and then have use of the field across the street. So um, we're able to put on some really fun events. So we hope people come on down, come visit us. Yeah, that sounds like a whole lot of fun. So anyone who's not a member, consider joining because as you heard, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Now, um, Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about the different kinds of programs that you have here at the club? Sure, absolutely. Uh, we offer a wide range of uh, programs here at the club, actually, and I'll, I'll begin with our younger age group. And we offer a licensed preschool program, and we offer children 2.9 to 5 years of age. We also offer an after-school program as well, a licensed after-school program, in which we go around to all the elementary schools in town and pick up the kids and bring them back here to the club and uh, take part in all the fun activities we have. We have our Club Kids program, which is a drop-in program where kids come and play after school and they take part in activities such as free swim, open gym, take advantage of our learning center. We have our teen space here and we offer um, 
you know, we offer programs, you know, basically for all ages of kids. You know, we offer, as I said, we offer uh, swim team programs. We offer basketball programs. Um, we offer programs for tots, you know, wide range, uh, some STEM programming, some cooking classes, book reading classes. Uh, really, it's you name it. Most likely, we have it. So it's great to be offer a w offer a wide range of activities for such a broad uh, range of, of kids. So. Yeah, that's great to have such a variety here. You know, you have something going on for everyone of every age. Now, Kevin, I'm going to ask you another question. Um, I've heard that there are some volunteer opportunities for children to get involved. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Actually, we have uh, well over 100 youth volunteers, and we have a junior youth leader program for kids ages 10 to 12. We have a youth leader program for kids ages 12 to 14, and then we have a career launch volunteer program for youth ages 14 to 17. And throughout the year, all the you know children of all those ages I just mentioned are able to come in and give of their time and basically help other kids. It's kids helping kids, and it could be teaching, sw helping not. Uh, teach swim lessons it could be helping with a gym class it could be helping in the games it could be helping one one little child that comes into the club and just hasn't made a friend yet and to have that up and for you know a youth in that age range of you know let's say 10 to 17 12 to 17 to have to be able to have that impact day in and day out and truly uh you know, in many respects, they're, they're a mentor. They're a volunteer, but they're also a mentor. And um, it's, I think, an invaluable experience for, you know, a lot of the kids that come in here and, and give of, them, of their time of themselves. And, um, you know, it really speaks to who they are and what they, what they want to be in the community. And we're pretty fortunate here to have, again, a wide range of activities and opportunities for kids to really, you know, kind of hone in on something that, that you know that they enjoy doing and be able to share that that passion that love with other kids you know the same way so you know there's there's a lot to offer here you know for for kids and volunteering does that cover that there you go. yeah so yeah that really does sound like a great Sorry. opportunity i know for myself growing up um those leadership positions were always really beneficial it does help you grow a whole lot um may i add to that this past June, we actually had a um, our summer staff meeting in which we were all in the room here just going over everything uh, that had to do with the summer. And Derek, um, you know, we were uh, talking to our team and Derek asked a question of basically how many of you um, grew up coming here to the club? How many of you were youth, uh, were youth leaders, volunteers? I'd say about 95% of the hands went up. So what that tells you is that our kids, when they get in here at a young age, they get vested, you know, and everything they do is for the well-being of the club and the kids that are, that are participating here. So um, I just wanted to speak to that for a moment. All right, so you heard it from Kevin. Once you're here, you're locked in for life. <laughs> All right, so I think that's just about all the questions that I have for you guys. I'll just end it with um, Derek. How about letting us know the best way that the public can get in contact with you? Um, well, you're, you're certainly welcome to come in and, and, and visit anytime. Um, you give you a nice tour of the club if you've never been in here. Um, you know, we can show you, uh, you know, the club in action, and um, you know, I think that's the best way. Um, but you can certainly reach me by email, um, by phone. Um, any of us here, you know, we all have email addresses and you know, we're all here just about every day. Um, you know, we're more than happy to go through any of the things that, you know, we discussed today. Um, but I really think a visit is, is the best way to kind of really get the feel and the, you know, the sense of what we do here. Um, but, you know, we have a website too, abgclub.org. Um, it's a good way to um, kind of get a quick view of what we do too. So thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, you come to the club and uh, talk to us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys very much for meeting with us, giving us all that great information. Um, so if you're not a member, I really think you should consider joining because it's great for kids of all ages. The ABG is doing a lot for the community of Arlington, and um, it was great to meet with you guys all today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.